Hey guys, thanks for joining in and welcome to CodeBox. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to create a PHP contact form with Google reCAPTCHA. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the CodeBox website. Link in the description box below. Step 1. Register your website with Google reCAPTCHA. Simply do a search for Google reCAPTCHA, access the website, and sign up if you have not already done so. Then, add a new project on the admin panel. Set the label to whatever you want. Then, there are two versions of the CAPTCHA. Version 3 is fully automated and works silently in the background, while version 2 is the one that requires users to complete an image challenge. This is what we will use in this tutorial. Follow up by adding your website domains. This also includes localhost if you are doing local testing. Accept the terms and complete the registration. On completion, a pair of site and secret keys will be generated. Don't need to copy these down manually, we can access the settings at any time to get the keys. Lastly, you can also set the security level here, where users will get a harder CAPTCHA challenge. Step 2. HTML Contact Form This should be very straightforward, just create a form to capture whatever is required. Then, as with the documentation, we load the reCAPTCHA API. Place the CAPTCHA where you want it. But remember to insert your own site key here. Step 3. PHP Processing On form submission, we will use PHP to manage the processing. First, we need to verify the CAPTCHA. Paste your secret key here. Then, as with the documentation, we need to make an API call to the reCAPTCHA server. Provide your secret key. And also the CAPTCHA response from the client side. Next, we will only proceed if the CAPTCHA check is valid. Set the email to and subject. Collect the submitted form into the email body. Lastly, just send out the email.
With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.